this part here is where I got the uh, uh, you have to put so much wood in there just to boil a kettle right so I, I'm doing a rocket stove thing so I, I thought well what if you made a the rocket stove in there and uh, you'd have the, a wood stove that ran on kindling compared to wood right right so I, to make it small enough I just uh, took a stove pipe and this is a little three inch one going into a six inch pipe and then I stuck it in there and uh, filled it up with, with sand as the insulation yeah, yeah, yeah. Not worried about that uh, inside one burning out. This little one? Yeah. Someday, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this that this is all the, like the stuff that oh, I could just get at the, the sand, though. That'll yeah, help. yeah. For insulation, this uh, you should be able to just open the door and whatever. But I watched other videos and they took tin cans and made these little things to hold the sticks up. Yeah. But I'm gonna make it out of something stronger. So I could put it in there. Then I could close the door. It just looks like a normal stove, eh? Oh, so you've already lit it. Yeah, and I I tested a bit of it, and that's how come I know that I need to bake a better uh, stick holder, eh? Yeah. But it's amazing. It's like making uh, the big stove into a microwave. Very little uh, fuel. Yeah, these heat, these heat up really quick, though really quick and, and you just need what you want like when you boil the water you put you put putting the sticks in it you don't have a fireplace that's going non-stop eh? I, oh, I, by putting them in on, on top of that then that still vents underneath yeah and it, that's where the rocket part comes it just shoots the air in sort of a venturi kind of thing i don't know what a venturi is. i guess not really sort of an upside down Yeah, that, that, that part there, I could actually open the door and then put an insert on it instead of that tin thing. That'll hold the logs up, or logs up, stick it. Good outside cooker. Yeah, and then as long as you're holding those sticks there so that you can just push it in, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. I even took the, uh, put the lid on there. And it dried the, like a ring outside when I did it. It dried the, all the whole stove off. Eh? It was like doing whole the, the real stove thing on a couple of pieces of kindling. So that inside tube, that's the same size from inlet to outlet. Yeah. Or is it supposed to close up at the top? Up here? Yeah. Nope, it's all open. The, the part where it closes up is when I actually, instead of, like I took the top off, the, the stove and I just put the frying pan right over it. But if you wanted, you could cut the, put the lid back on and do it the long way. Yeah. Or just to keep things warm while you're... All in all though, it did uh, like it's supposed to. It drafted good. Picked up the heat. Thanks for watching. I think you'd like to watch one that I call the tree. In the movies, they do that at the very top. Yeah. <laughs>